hey family it's your girl evelyn of the evelyn inc and today i'm back with another chatty kathy no non-scripted talky 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 video and at this point i filmed so many of these i haven't gotten your feedback on whether or not you enjoy them but i like recording them so this is just gonna be where we're at at this point um but i would like to know do you find these valuable are you sharing these because sharing is caring okay and that's how we get down over here but anyway so oh i'm pretty sure somebody's gonna ask me my hair is is flat ironed it's i'm still natural like even though i don't do hair videos or tutorials anymore because at this point i've been natural 11 years Fam, I'm probably not going to do hair videos. However, in today's video, I want to have another just girl talk with you under the theme of curated versus collected and something that has been so bomb to me. Now, when I first, when I did the original video talking about curated versus collected, I mentioned about curating my influences, curating like who I follow on social media but I follow this woman named Shantae Grant um I will link her below listen I'm, I'm letting y'all in on all my secrets like on all the people that I follow so bomb and um at the time of this video she's just now finishing up a challenge and I didn't even do the whole challenge but one of the aspects of the challenge was to see if you could follow less than 100 people on Instagram and I was like at the time, I think I was following over 1,300 people. At the time of this recording, I'm a little under 690, so I'm not even I'm not even close to the 100 yet. Um, I don't know if I will get to 100, but let me give you let me tell you the premise of what she said. She was like, you know, we follow all these people, and she was like, you know, if you really want to own your day and um, not waste time, one of the things we need to do is endless scrolling. And people tell this all the time, and there's. Um, I'm paraphrasing and adding some of my own commentary in here, so just roll with that. But one of the things she talked about was that, um, or what, what, one of the things I took away from it was that you can get all these apps and put all these time limits on your phone and all that kind of stuff, but even when you open it, it's a never-ending sea of content and that um, even with the best intentions, you're still going to be stroll scrolling for a significant portion of time. And so... Um, she made the suggestion to see if you can get to under 100 followers if you get to 99 people that you're following on instagram and she was like think about it she said think about the word follow that um if you saw a stranger on the street and they said come follow me it would be weird to follow them right or um they're basically saying, I want to take you somewhere. And she says, so think about this. You're on social media and you follow all of these people and they're all trying to take you somewhere different. And that can cause anxiety and frustration and comparison and all of these different things. And so I really started to think about that because while I did curate my influences of people that wanted that fit into certain categories or accounts that fit into certain categories of my life I don't know if I needed 50 or 60 versions of each one of those to um to really accomplish what I was trying to accomplish so I was able to unfollow about half um at this point just casually she and she recommends you can do it one or two ways that you can either unfollow everybody and then as people come to your remembrance and you and you actually miss their content to follow them back I mean to go back and refollow them or that you can undo a little by little I've I've just decided to do it in chunks so um I didn't unfollow everyone um because what I realized is that I was seeing a lot of a certain accounts and there were other accounts that I really wanted to see but because I was interacting with these accounts more often I wasn't seeing those so I really kind of went through and cleaned up and I, I still have some ways to go because I'm even starting now to see more accounts that I'm like I don't even remember why I followed you or I don't particularly enjoy your content like it's not bad it's just man and maybe I followed you because somebody mentioned you on their post and I saw one good quote or one good video or something like that and it's like do I really need 60 versions of this one thing that I'm trying uh, to accomplish or that I want to be influenced by? So 
When I say that finding your flavor and curating your life is an ongoing process, like I felt like I was on um, on the right path and I still believe I was on the right path, but this was another version. And you may be like, girl, under 100, but think think about it. Like 100 is still a lot. If you were to put 100 people in a room and it was like, hey, girl, I want to take you somewhere, you would be overwhelmed. You'd be like, I, I, uh, uh. so if you've got... A thousand, two thousand, three thousand. Like, first of all, you're not even seeing those people's um, content. And she talked the same thing about email, right? And and listen, I have been guilty. First of all, I've got like eight email addresses, and they were all at like ninety percent capacity. And one of the things that I want to talk about in detail in the community that I'm putting together is this notion of micro stressors. Um, and I don't have time to really go into it the way I want to in this video or any, like it, it takes, it's going to take some discussion and that's why I want to create this. That's why I'm creating this community, but it's a, it was a micro stressor and that I needed to, to make the time. I need to take the time to clean it up as a micro stressor. So some of those email accounts, I have emails going back to like 2008, girl, you're not about to reference it. Like deleted and so I started with one account and I just wiped it clean I just was like if there's nothing pressing and I've saved the people's contact information that I need to save wipe it clean you keep telling yourself you're gonna go back and you're gonna do this and you're gonna reference it and blah girl you know you're not gonna you're not gonna do it so anyway um maybe I can call this like the joy of unfollowing (laughs) And listen, one of the things that I really appreciate about what she said was that if if she was one of the accounts that you needed to unfollow to, you know, be in a better place than to unfollow her. And I would say the same thing, like if you kind of like my videos, but you don't really find them that valuable or you see and you be like, I may watch her, I may not. Or every now and then, like, girl, unsubscribe, like, don't let me clog up your feed. And I'm going to do the same thing on YouTube. I'm subscribed to a lot of people who a either no longer um upload videos or b like when their content comes up i'm never compelled to watch it so um yeah like curating my influences the joy of unfollowing it's kind of like the joy of missing out like i want to miss out fam like i don't i for i like i don't need to be going in three thousand different directions so that's it for day for today if you won't to follow me on Instagram at the Evelyn E. I would love to have you. Um, and you know, let me just say this. I think this is why I was never into the whole follow for follow thing because I was like, I'm not, I don't want to follow just to be following. You know what I mean? It's kind of awkward because that's how people want to network now. They don't want a business card. They want to be like, are you on Instagram? Well, you can follow me, but I don't necessarily want to follow you. I mean, I would like to keep in contact with you, just not that way. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section below, A, how many people are you following on Instagram right now? And B, do you want to reduce that? And if so, by how many do you think you can get to under 100? I'm not there yet, but I reduced by half and I don't even miss the people that I unfollowed. I think I refollowed one person. So there's that. Anyway, y'all, I will see you in the next video. Peace.